as long as you shoot in the right frame rate, you can get nice, smooth, clean, slow motion here in Adobe Premiere. The problem is you can get great slow motion, but it doesn't do anything with the audio. In this video, I'm going to show you how we could go from a timeline that looks like this, where our slow motion is smooth, but our audio is terrible, to where our audio and our slow motion match up a little bit. And then we'll even go over how to add some little whooshy sound effects to make your slow motion even better. So let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and clear out my timeline here and I've got a clip here that was shot in 240 frames per second. I'm not going to go over the details of how to get stuff ready for slow motion. This is just going to be about the audio. I've got an in and an out point set here. I'm going to drag this clip down onto my timeline here and there we go. So there's a few things we need to do before we can get started. First is you need to come up and tell Premiere that you want to be working in slow motion. So I'm going to come and just right click on this little icon right here and go to time remapping and set this to speed. And then super important is you have to unlink the audio and the video. The, to get, they're linked together right now. We want to separate them. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to just cr scroll down and I'm looking for unlink right there. So there we go. Now the audio and the video are their own track. So let's go ahead and scrub through the timeline here and we want to find where we want the slow motion to start. Let's start it. Oh, how about right there? And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to command or control click right here on the timeline to set a keyframe there. And then I need to cut the audio timeline right there. You can do that by either pressing command or control K. Oh, see, I just made a mistake there and you're probably going to make that same mistake. So I'm going to command Z that. Make sure you choose your audio clip first. See, I have my video selected. I want to make sure I'm on my audio. So command or control K, or you can come over here, grab the razor tool, keyboard shortcut C, and just come and click right there. And that'll give you a cut. And I'm going to move my cursor over here to where I want the slow mode. And let's go right about there. And again, switch back to my selection tool, keyboard shortcut V. And I'm going to command click right there. And then I'm going to click on my audio. And I'm just going to do command K to cut the audio there. And there we go. So now this is 240 frames per second on a 24 frames per second timeline, which means I need to increase this speed and this speed a thousand percent. Again, if you don't understand any of that, watch this video that I got linked up here and that will show you how to do that. Then come back and watch this one. So I'm going to speed up the part of my video that I want to be fast up to a thousand percent. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the end of my clip here. So my clip is going to start in normal speed. It's going to drop into slow motion and then it's going to go back to normal speed. So here's the problem. You can see my audio is way off. I've got this whole part of my audio right here. That should be regular speed. This part of audio, my audio should be slow motion, which it already is. So perfect. And then this should be fast speed again as well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here to our toolbar. We're going to press and hold on this third tool down and we're looking for the rate stretch tool. Basically, we're going to speed this slow audio up so that it fits right there. So let's put my playhead over here. Let's zoom in on the timeline just a little bit. And I'm going to grab my rate stretch tool. I'm going to grab this first part of my audio and I'm going to speed it up by dragging this over. And I want to stop so it's right below where my slow mo is at. And that should be about right. Just perfect right there. Then I'm going to switch back to my selection tool, keyboard shortcut V. And I'm going to grab my slow motion audio. I'm going to drag that over and put that right below the slow motion. And then let's come back, let's grab this third clip, this third piece of audio, and drag it over. And then I'm going to put that in there. And then guess what? I'm going to switch back to that rate stretch tool. Keyboard shortcut is R for that. Keyboard shortcut R right there for the rate stretch tool. And I'm going to speed that audio up. And let's see what we ended up with here. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, so perfect. Started out, sounded good. It went to slow motion, and then there wasn't really any sound in that end, but if there had been, we, you, you would have heard normal sound. Now, we need to smooth things out a little bit because that was pretty rough. So let's go in, let's ramp our speed ramp, and then we'll fix the audio from there. So I'm going to put my playhead right over there, right on that transition. I'm going to zoom way in. And again, if you don't know about how to do speed ramping, watch this video that I got linked up here. And we're just going to do a quick speed ramp here. The trick is that as I spread these out, I want to make sure that the middle between these two gray handles is this blue line. I want to make sure that the middle of my transition is right where my audio clips. So I'm going to just finesse this a little bit and get that spread out how I want it. A nice good ramp there. I'm even going to fix this a little bit here. 
There we go. And there you go. So now I'm going to slow motion right there. And that's happening right over there on the audio transition. Let's do the same thing at the end. Now you can see that's messed things up a little bit here. We're going to fix that later. Let's get this stretched out. Get a good ramp going here. And again, I like to put my playhead right there so that I can see that blue line. That way I know if I'm right in the middle or not, which I want to be. And let's get that stretched out and perfect right there. And you can see I'm just a touch off right here. Let me uh, let me do this real quick. There you go. And I'm just a little bit off. So to fix that, I'm going to grab the rate stretch tool again, keyboard shortcut R, and I'm going to just fix that audio. Just clean that up a little bit. So if you're a little bit off there, that's okay. Just use the rate, rate stretch tool to fix that last little bit of audio. And there we go. Now our slow motion is happening much smoother. We're going a smoother into the slow motion and a smoother out of the slow motion. But let's clean up this audio. Let's have that transition be a little bit smoother as well. So I'm going to come and uh, zoom in here on my first transition, my first audio transition. I'm going to switch back to the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V. I'm going to come and put my cursor right there in between those two pieces of audio and click. I'll get that red bar right there. That's what I want. And then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to choose Apply Default Transitions. And that's going to put a crossfade between those two. It's going to do a, this, this audio is going to, you know what it means. So I'm just going to shorten that up a little bit. That's a little bit too long. I want it to be about the same length as my two gray handles. So I'm just going to, oops, click right on this and then just shorten that dude up a little bit to right about there. Perfect. Let's go to the end and do the same thing. I'm going to click right there, right click, apply default transitions. And again, that's too long. So I'm going to shorten it up, make it about the same width as my two gray handles up here at the top. And that should give me some nice, smooth sound. Let's test it and see. I'm going to show you what to do if it's not smooth. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Perfect. I really liked how we just start to hear the opening of the can, and then it goes to slow motion. But what if we wanted to move this, the part where the slow motion sound starts a little bit? Well, another great little tool for that is also hiding under here with the rate stretch tool. I'm going to press and hold, and look, here's the rolling edit tool. And what the rolling edit tool allows us to do is let's say we wanted to move this transition in a little bit. Remember, this audio is already slow no matter what I do to it, and this audio over here is fast no matter what I do to it. So I could actually come, and let's zoom in here. And I could take this, and I could move this a little bit this way or a little bit this way. And that's just going to make it so the transition from slow to fast happens either a little bit sooner or a little bit later. So if I needed to do that, I could clean that up right there with the rolling edit tool. Not super important there, but you can see if I didn't hadn't had this one perfect just right here, I might have needed to bring it this way just a little bit. And let's see what the difference that makes. Three, three two, one. So we heard almost a little too much of the can opening. It didn't quite make sense. And you can see if I go too far this way, Three, two, one. At the time we missed the can opening completely, so right somewhere in between is just about perfect. Two, one. Nope, not quite there. This rolling edit tool is really nice for this. Two, one. Perfect. I think that looks great right there. So, very nice. All right, the only thing that I think might really help is if we added a little sound effect to kind of give it that whoosh into slow motion and whoosh out of slow motion. So if you want, head on over to freesound.org. This is a spot where you can get free sound effects. You do need to create an account. And then I downloaded this wide forward whoosh one dot wave file, and this has a great sound to it. Let's listen to it. Perfect. I think I'm going to like that. I've already added it to my Premiere project. I've got it right here. I'm going to just double click on it right here to bring it up in my source window. And I'm going to set an in and an out. I want to basically start there, and I want to end it right after the climax of the whoosh there. So set my out point there. I'm going to go ahead and just drag audio only. Since it's only audio, I'll click right there and drag that down onto my timeline. Now, this starts quiet, and it gets loud. So that's a good sound for coming out of slow motion. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it right there. And let's zoom in on it a little bit, and let's just see how that sounds if we play it. Oh, I like that a lot. Let's turn it down just a touch. So I'm going to click back to my selection tool, grab that bar right there, and drag that down a little bit. Let's try that one more time. Oh. Woo, that's great. I like that a whole bunch. Now, we want to basically do the opposite for 
the going into slow motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to hold down Option on my keyboard or Alt if you're on a PC, and I'm going to click and drag this over, and that duplicates it, makes a copy of it for me. And I'm going to right click on it and go to uh, Speed and Duration, and I'm just going to reverse the speed right here, and that's going to basically play it backwards. Perfect, and then let's move that. So that starts when I go into my slow motion, and let's see how that sounds. Yeah. Three, two, one. So it's a little early there. I'm going to move it over just a touch there. Maybe put it right about there. Two, one. It's not bad. I might do a little bit of a fade in on that. So I'm going to just right click on this and do apply default transitions. And that's obviously way too long. So let's make that very, very short. Just a very short fade in. Let's see how that sounds. Two, one. That's nice right there. I like that. That's a great sounding whoosh that you can get for free there. So there you go, you guys. We've just gone in. We've fixed our audio with our speed ramping in Adobe Premiere. We've got much, much nicer slow motion because we were able to keep our audio. We've added a nice whoosh sound effect, and we are good to go.